Welcome to my apiary. I am waxing frames today on a cool and dreary day. Now you've seen this done on YouTube. You don't need to have me show you, you know, you dip the roller in the wax, blah, blah, blah. Roll it on. I'll roll this on. Okay. So whatever. That That's fine. That works. I've been rolling frames that have new foundation, I've been rolling frames that have old foundation that have uh, just been dried up and have no wax left. But I want to point something out to you. Um, and sorry if you think I'm going to use some strong language here, but people say online, well, bees won't draw plastic foundation. And that's absolutely patently false. It's 100% incorrect. Um, perhaps what the individual means is they don't understand how bees draw a foundation and they don't understand the the role that wax plays in the drawing of said foundation. Let's start with wax foundation. This is plastic, but let's pretend it's wax. You can put a sheet of wax foundation in here. Okay, you spend five minutes putting a sheet of wax foundation in here. And you put that frame in the hive, and it's a strong honey flow, and they draw that out. It's a beautiful thing. However, you put that in a hive, They've got a honey flow, they draw it out, kind of like this, and then the honey flow ends. They go into a bit of a dearth. Well, guess what they're going to do? They're going to chew away all the wax from all through here and all through here, and they're going to repurpose that to build the wax they need for brood rearing and storing uh, what nectar they have. So that's why in your wax foundation frames, you will have people say, oh, I want them to build drones where they, they want to build drones. Yeah, I can see why you'd say that. However, it's not that simple. What it is, is now there's no foundation at all in this area, in this area. So they have to draw that from scratch. They've got no pattern. So they'll draw worker size comb or they'll dry, build uh, drone size comb or they'll build some crazy comb with a bunch of holes in it or something. And that's fine if that's the kind of thing you want. I'm not crazy about it, honestly. However, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying it's undesirable. I'm saying that's what you get. Plastic foundation has the same phenomenon. And that's why I'm bothering to rewax these. That didn't wax very well. I'm going to do that again. Because what happens is you put this sheet of foundation in a hive that's brand new out of the box and uh, it's got a little bit of wax on it not much but they will draw that you need a flow it's some kind of a flow to get them to draw that draw it properly etc now same thing goes they get a flow they draw some of that the flow ends they will strip the wax off of this part and they will never ever in your lifetime draw that again if they do They'll usually draw it sideways like this. You don't really want that. So um, that's the skinny on plastic foundation. It's a great thing. Uh, I certainly prefer it. I, I really hate the mess that bees make with wax. And I run enough wax. It blows out in the extractor way too often. Uh, it's just a disaster in my opinion. So I've taken everything that wasn't drawn. Like even, even a frame like this. Has had a piece of comb missing out of it here. Looks like I scraped that away for a sample or something. Uh, but I rewaxed that so that they've got wax to start with. And that's a lot of wax, but you know what? That's okay. I'd rather have more wax and less because I get that wax back. I get that wax back in production. That is not costing me anything to put that wax on there. So that is why I'm taking all these frames, partially drawn not drawn at all everything i'm i'm rewaxing everything that's not drawn 
uh, because they may have, it seems to me like they've stripped the wax off of this, see? They'll never draw that. If they do anything there, they're going to make a big mess. So you can see there's a little bit of wax in here, these little threads, but they've chewed a lot of it away, right? So that's what happens with plastic foundation and wax foundation. If they have a dearth and they want wax, they're going to chew your foundation. Uh, plastic, they'll chew the coating off it. Wax, they'll chew the entire thing up. Uh, so there you go. That's my, my rant about, about uh, bees chewing foundation up. Now, my roller is cooled off, so this isn't going to go on here very well, but I'll try. You just run some of that on there. Works really nice. Hit Mama's crockpot. <laughs> Mama's going to kill me. Right to the edges. See, it falls off when it gets hot. <laughs> I've done a few hundred of these frames now. And that roller looks like it's going to maybe have about a 500 frame <laughs> life cycle. <laughs> Pretty ratty. So, I mean, these, they're partially drawn. They're a whole lot more work because I can't just give it a... Give it a once over. I kind of have to hunt for the spots. That's okay. It is what it is. So, I hope that helps you. And uh, go ahead and wax your frames if you want, drawn or not. Have fun.